Hi everyone, welcome to paper titled on the effectiveness of deep trust for learning for Bangladeshi mean based card image classification. I'm Minhadu Raman and I'm a third year undergraduate student at International Islamic University, Chittagong, Bangladesh, majoring in electrical and electronic engineering. This is a joint work with Simon Raman from CSRO Data 61 and Mahmoud Ubadi Ahmed from Westminster International University, Uzbekistan. Let me begin with an outline of this presentation. At the beginning, I will introduce our work and motivation for this paper. Then I will discuss the literature relevant to our work and how we are different from them. Next, I will present our trust for learning methodology proposed for the car image classification. After that, I will discuss our experiments. At last, I will conclude our work. So, food classification has been an active area of research for last 7-8 years. Many works have been done for the task. However, existing works are mostly limited to the classification of generic food type. They are trained using generic food dataset such as uh, popular UPMC food 101. And uh, due to this reason, they cannot be applied to regional food classification. In most of the existing works, Trustful learning is commonly used. It is also sometimes called as fine tuning. In fine tuning, a neural network is first trained on a large dataset, then retrained on a smaller dataset. It is an efficient approach for training network with less samples. Existing works can be classified into two major groups. The first group consists of generic food image classification methods and the second group consists of regional food image classification methods. Generic food image classification methods are trained using large scale generic food datasets and uh, trained networks are mostly popular CNNs such as BGG16 or their modified versions. Current uh, regional food image classification methods are mostly focused on Asian food classification. Similar to previous group, they also use generic CNNs and actively exploit trust for learning for successful model training. There are a few words very related to our work in this paper. The first one is by Raja Yogi and the team. They performed Indian food classification with a trust for learning on a 20 class Indian food dataset. The second one is by Tasneem and the team. They performed trust for learning on a 7 class Bangladeshi food dataset. The third one is by Uddin and the team. They evaluated a modified CNN on a 7 class Bangladeshi food dataset. Our work in this paper is different than others in the following ways. One is, unlike them, we explore various transfer learning mechanisms. Two, we performed a dedicated study on car image classification. Three, our work may be useful for researchers for getting a better idea of the complexity involved with card image classification. In this work, we approach the following problems. One is how to approach card image classification with deep trust for learning. And uh, two, can fine tuned popular CNNs be helpful for card image classification? Our contributions are as follows. One, we proposed a methodology based on deep trust for learning and data set for car image classification focusing on Bangladeshi cuisine. Two, we evaluated popular CNN architectures under the same framework. Our objectives are as follows. One, to perform a systematic analysis of the fine tuning pre-trained CNN parameters for Bangladeshi curry food images. Two, to, to construct a new data set containing Bangladeshi meat based car images. Now I present our transfer learning methodology. From the left, we fed an image recessed to a fixed dimension and transformed with data augmentation. The transformed image is fed into the CNN layers. We, for, we apply four transfer learning with four strategies. In first strategy, we only train the classification layer. In the second strategy, we train last 25% of the CNN layers, which include convolutional layer and classification layer. In the third strategy, we train last 50% of the CNN layers and classification layer. 
In the fourth strategy, we train all the layers in CNN. Please uh, read our paper for details. We used uh, seven popular CNNs for our experiments. The CNNs are LXNet, VGG16, GoogleNet, Inception V3, ResNet 101, DanceNet 201, and uh, ShuffleNet. Since there is no dedicated dataset on car image classification, we have constructed a dataset for our experiment. It contains 11 categories of Bangladeshi car images. In each category, we have 101 images. We have collected our images from the web. We split the dataset in 80 by 20 ratio and use the larger ratio for training and the smaller one for testing. We implement our experiments using MATLAB deep learning toolbox. We train our CNN models with appropriate transfer learning strategy for 100 epochs with single GPU. We use learning rate decay and atom optimizer. Here is our results. From the results, we can see that our third strategy, which fine tunes 50% CNN layers from the last, gets the better performance than other. We highlight the best results in each strategy with bold and the second best with underline. Among the CNNs, we find ResNet, DanceNet, and uh, ShuffleNet perform the best. We also conducted an ablation study to see what happens if we change the training ratios. We did the experiment with LXNet and the results are showed in the bar chart. It can be seen that there is a need of large data samples for obtaining better performance. Now we conclude our paper. In this paper, we 1. developed a learning framework for card image classification. The framework uses a unified setting for the several popular CNNs. 2. We performed a systematic analysis of the results. In the future, we plan to extend our work to Bangladeshi cuisine detection with more robust CNNs and object detection models. Here are the references. Please scan this QR code for more details. Thank you for your attention.